my, oh my. Whatever is the meaning of this? That's most peculiar. There had never been any issue with me hitching a ride on an armory before. Now you're telling me that I, moi, yours truly, may not accompany you. Elder's orders, ma'am. Please don't make things difficult, Miss Masher. You know well enough. I don't have the authority to permit your departure without at least a platoon for protection. Yes, I do understand, of course. Sensible, really. Given poor Uncle Gurney's horrid plight, heightening security on all outbound transports, are we, Moni, dearest? I've needs, too. Forget platoons. I've a mind to enlist every lost number there is. Would that suit you better? That said, perchance, if you were to reconsider, I would be more than capable of fending for myself. Do you see what I'm alluding to? I'm in no position to decide, ma'am. In any case, I'm afraid you'll have to take it up with the Elder. Oh, I commend your obedience. Thank you. That'll be all. Oh, what a wet blanket. And here I was, so raring to go. I feel as a babe, cast by the wayside. To business. Let's see. How might I foil Moni Dearest's little arrangement? Excuse me. Hello. Aren't you... Have you perhaps business outside of the city? And if so, might it trouble you to take me with you? That came out of nowhere. Who even are you? You don't know. This is Lady... Ah! Where are my manners? Please forgive my impertinence. It's simply that I'm in something of a hurry. Masha. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Hi, Masha. We... Oh, I know full well who you are. You're a known quantity here, my dears. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone in the city who doesn't know of you. You said you wanted to accompany us. Why? Gosh, aren't you a cautious one? It's nothing of grave importance, I assure you. I just happen to have some personal matters to attend to in the Faunus region. The Aegis Wilderness, to be precise. It may surprise you, but I happen to have a modicum of skill in battle, above that of the average layperson. It wouldn't be the first time I've left the city. In fact, I'm rather accustomed to working on my own. But it seems I've been met with some skepticism. Dear me. Pull the other one. You can fight! Her attire certainly doesn't conform to lost numbers dress code regulations. It's about as far from military fatigues as you can get without falling off the edge of the world. Yes, yes, I get that a lot. But I'm afraid my fashion sense is non-negotiable. Only when one pursues beauty with every breath is it that one may validate proof of one's existence. Uh, sure. Eager's wilderness, huh? We might not be going there for some time. Is that okay? No trouble at all. I'm sure you have your own duties to fulfill. I hope you'll allow me to humbly assist you as a concerned and dedicated representative of the city. Well, as you can see, I could not have found more exceptional bodyguards. You'll have no qualms now, I hope. Ah, give Moni dearest my regards, won't you? Very well. All right, people, what say we get a move on? Time waits for no cognoscenti. Yeah, okay, keep your air on. Well, guess you're with us for a while then, Masha. Don't worry, you'll be in good company. Oh. 
Always nice to see a new Maybe face. This wilderness is fast. We should make ingress from the Zem's crossway side. That's right at the border with the flats, right? If we're heading into the wilderness, we best do it from here. Well, lady, we're here. The Aegis Wilderness. Like you asked. Lady? I do have a name, you know. Um, so, Masha, what's the plan now? You are aware of the Annihilation events, yes? Of course we are. Do you think we've had our heads stuck in the mud or something? Well, I happen to be looking for a patch of land that was the site of such an event. The Aegis Wilderness, being prone to frequent events, makes it a prime location for my purposes. Except that runs the risk of us walking straight into another one ourselves. Yeah, we better not stick around here too long. Hold on. Tyon used to be in Agnes' survey branch. I think he's researching the area. Wonderful. Music to my ears. There's one old site. The survey branch maps have it labeled as Piento Basin. It's something of a trek, but it might be sensible to head there instead of us wandering around aimlessly for hours. My, what a strikingly valuable piece of information. I couldn't have asked for more. We'll go with you. You don't want to be dealing with all the monsters roaming around here alone. <laughs> A most gracious offer. I suppose I'll take you up on that. So, what's so important about this place, anyhow? A picture is worth a thousand words, my dear. If luck should favor us, you're sure to find out soon enough. Marching straight into annihilation zones. You must have nerves of steel. <laughs> you flatter me to no end, Lance. My, oh my! To think that I would find one so soon! Let it never be said that the fruits of one's labors are not rewarded!
What have you got there? Again, I must extend to you my deepest thanks. I would never have laid my hands upon this were it not for your sterling efforts. It's... a rock? Looks like a rock to me. Hmm. Those are unusual inclusions. I've never seen anything like it. It's as if a number of different types of stone have all been interlaced. On the ball once more, your assessment is absolutely correct. This stone was formed after several types of subterraneous minerals were exposed to tremendous energy, merging into one. Tremendous energy? The annihilation effect. <laughs> it finally clicked, I see. You might even call this stone a new type of mineral, a curious byproduct of annihilation. It is created through sheer chance. It is vanishingly improbable that one might reproduce it through human means. So it's a pretty precious stone, then, is what you're saying? <laughs> Do you see now why it is that I was so adamant to depart the city? does seem pretty special. But what are you going to do with it? Wear it? Not a terrible idea, really. But no, I already have a different purpose for it in mind. Oh, yeah? Indeed. Allow me to reiterate before I recapitulate. A picture is worth a thousand words. Chosen friends, might I ask you to return with me once more to the city? Indeed, what outcome might this ill-omened stone, born of calamity, bring about? In due time, I will show you. No point lingering here. Let's continue this somewhere altogether more comfortable, in the city. Now that sounds like a plan. Without further ado... Heavens above, I'd completely forgotten. W what is it? Sorry, I failed to mention what is arguably the most vital facet of my identity. Come again? Um, I know it's rather late, but allow me to formally introduce myself.
Masher. Lapidarist extraordinaire at your humble service. Lappy what now? A lapidarist extraordinaire, my dear. An artisan of the crafts, if you will, in drab layman's terms. I specialize in gem processing and precious metalwork, mainly. But I also dabble in many other types of ornamentation. Huh. Sounds like you keep busy. Ah, could I trouble you for a bigger reaction? Uh, you're the fabled Lapidarist Extraordinaire, or how inspirational would fit well in this conversational beat? If anything, I'm surprised you had time to learn to fight like you do. On top of all your other hobbies, I'd say. I hadn't considered that possibility. Thank you for your honest opinion. These crafts you're talking about, you can make something from that stone. I can and I shall. Let's see. Judging by the quality of this stone, it might make for a fanciful ring. Normally, it's my policy not to show my methods to the general public. But I'll make an exception this time, just for you. Now watch as the city's lauded lapidarist extraordinaire flaunts her artisanal prowess. You know, you've got to take regular breaks. That ought to do it. Refined than ever.
Beautifully done, if I do say so myself. Durable and easy to refine. I made the right call picking that stone for an accessory. Mio, I'd like to impart this ring to you. Huh? Are you sure? Never more. Take it and keep it to commemorate our meeting. Wait, didn't you go searching for that stone because you wanted the ring? They do say that curiosity and danger are two trunks of the same tree. What you ought to know about me is that I live as I please. That's really all there is to it. I'm surprised. That's not the kind of mentality I'd have expected from one of the city folk. Yes, you'd think that, wouldn't you? But having different thoughts and beliefs, that's what makes us human. Just as the people of House Vandom march on Mobius, waving the banner of war, so do you have House Doyle, who stay back, putting the city's preservation above all else. But that's not to say everyone who chooses pacifism thinks the way a Doyle might. Myself, for instance. But aren't we supposed to all be working together to defeat Mobius? Yes, I acknowledge that truth as well. It's a thorny question, to be sure. But be that as it may, I simply cannot in good conscience abandon my principles. Even straying from the soldier's path, how could I deride anyone who seeks meaning in life? Who strives for an enlightened future? <sighs> The city today is a melting pot, one great messy confluence of thoughts. But I'm of the belief that one day they will all melt together to create sweet, perfect harmony. Much like the stone that we discovered. Incidentally, and I'm sorry to change the subject, I think I've taken quite a liking to you all. And on that note, I have a suggestion. What would you say to entering into an exclusive contract with moi? Huh? Contract for what? It would grant you the right to receive my premium services as a lapidarist extraordinaire, expressly and expeditiously. Clearer now? And that applies to you, especially. M me you have the makings of a model, Mio. Such qualities are rare to come by. You are a diamond in the rough, my dear. <laughs> I can see it now. You'll be a future trendsetter. Thanks, I guess. Oh, but I wouldn't dream of forcing you. That would go against my principles. All right, my dears. Might I have an answer? Yeah, okay. I wouldn't mind that. What's everyone else think? I don't see why not. Sounds like a good offer to me. You're gonna make gear for us, yeah? Can't say no to that. No objections from me. Nor me. And you evidently know how to handle yourself. Yeah, I want a ring just like Mimi's. Splendid. Then it's a done deal. Oh, one more thing. I'll have to ask you to procure the necessary materials for my work. And, of course, I'll have to ask you to reimburse me for the labor as well. What? Oh, come on! You're gonna charge us? Some generosity, that is. <laughs> on the contrary, I'd be more wary of anyone who offers their services for free. And besides, I pride myself on my skills as a lapidarist extraordinaire. Rest assured that any articles you request will be delivered to the highest possible standard. Satisfaction guaranteed.
partnership. Just part of the protocol, innit? <laughs> 